Hey guys, it's Dr. Krischer here. It is, think about it, Wednesday, March the 6th. The reason that I'm positive that it's March the 6th is because tomorrow, March the 7th, is our oldest boy, Ari, his birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. Uh, if you're watching this, I love you very much. You are, uh, you're quite the gentleman. You're becoming quite the gentleman, buddy. Keep it up. Uh, I love you so much. My goal is to qualify for the CrossFit Games by the time that I'm 55. After 19.2, I don't think I will ever. I mean, there's 10, if I had 10,000 years to train, I don't think I'm gonna make it to the CrossFit Games. Uh, but more importantly than the CrossFit Games, and the reason that I keep doing this stuff is because I want to have content for Ari and Vetti on me, on what I was thinking, on what they look like, on the videos that I'm collecting week in and week out, simply to document um, this is just an amazing time in, uh, in our lives. So there's a couple things that I wanted to chat about. The most important thing and the takeaway before I, I get into you know, breaking down 19.2 and how I felt about it, um, I listened to, uh, her name is Annie Duke and she's a poker player and she was on the Investors Podcast and she was talking about this idea of placing a bet uh, behind your level of cer certainty or uncertainty. Um, you know, most of the decisions that we have to make in life, we are uncertain of the outcome. So she has this thing and she hangs around with a group of people who their goal is to try to get to the truth or as close to the truth as possible. And one of the ways they do that is, is not by supporting their beliefs, but by challenging their belief systems. One of the things she's talked about is, you know, when you're uncertain or when you say that you're certain about something, well, how certain are you? What would you be willing to back up that decision with? And, you know, how probable is the outcome that you think that you're going to get? I just thought it was a, a, a super interesting way um, to look at the decisions that we're making and most importantly to start to interact with people who are successful or have achieved uh, certain things in our life that we want yet have done it in ways that to us or to you might be uh, unorthodox you know and the opposite example is just take a look at what's happening on Facebook and how people love to hang out with groups and never challenge their belief systems I mean let's be serious we're humans it sucks being wrong like, you know we've all experienced that when you have a, a belief that was uh, really tightly held and you would have put a lot of money or whatever you're uh, whatever you're betting on your belief you would have bet a lot of money on it and it's embarrassing and it's hurtful when it's wrong however it's good for you when you're wrong because you have just be, uh, learned something new you've changed your methodology of thinking and as a result you can make better decisions in the future not worse decisions in the future so my homework for this week and something to think about is Pick one of your deeply held beliefs and find somebody who has the opposite belief and interact with them and find out why it is they think the way they do and how they got to that conclusion. Now, 19.2, uh, you know, I love watching the open announcement on Thursday. I'm not crazy about the way it's done now. I miss Dave Castro, I miss the hype. Uh, I think all that stuff is, is just fantastic. Uh, but of course, you know, the beasts took over, so 19.2 was uh, 25, double unders, sorry, 25 toes the bar, 50 double unders, uh, and then squat cleans. And of course the squat cleans got heavier uh, and the reps diminished and you had a 20 minute time cap to get through the whole workout. Now, I got crushed in the first round. Uh, I made it to the second round, which is fine. Um, but you know, you're watching these people do these, these, these toes the bar, it was not a workout built on my strengths. I'm very weak in the midline. It's something that I've been improving, uh, but there's still a long way to go. So it got totally wrecked on this one. Uh, but when I compare to last year, and here's the win, it's I'm much stronger in my midline this year than I was last year. So it's good. I'm looking forward to the announcement on Thursday and of course getting my butt handed to me Friday morning. I hope you're having an amazing week. Uh, enjoy whatever it is that you're doing. Again, Ari, happy birthday. Daddy loves you very much, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Everybody's quiet. I'm getting ordered to turn it down in the background. So it's been a while. We're back. We're back with the crew, the man, the neck of the family. And Ari's taking a pee. Hopefully you can hear that in the background. <laughs> so why don't you talk about both of you? 50, what happened 51 years ago yesterday? 51 years yesterday, we met for the first time. 
on a live dance that was uh, about half a block where I lived. There are two theories how we met. <laughs> Mine, which is correct, and mom's, which is not correct. Uh, since I'm writing a book about uh, family history, both of those will be clearly stated for the audience to decide which one is right. So how did you meet? What's, what's the correct theory versus mom's theory? Well, this is theory? too long a story. It won't fit in, uh, in a short video. Well, give us the short version of it. No, that, that is not short the version. Short, the short version was... Yeah, thanks, Baka. Because, okay, we were, I was dancing. Yep. And he was standing with my two friends that they came to the dance. So he was trying to pick up your two friends. Ah, I thought that he is having a crush on the Uh huh. Okay. So I came, when I finished my dance, I came. And the first thing uh, the um, other friend, Nada, told me, like this is Bogdan, and I introduced myself to him, and he said, which instrument do you play? And I said, none. And he said, I play three. <laughs> What instruments do you play? This is big BS. First that of all, was, that was, uh, <laughs> your, your, mother, your mother claimed that she remembers everything. She cannot remember whom he danced that night, how was the dancing But it around. didn't matter with so whom I danced. It did matter very much. <coughs> Therefore, we'll address both of those uh, controversial stories in a history book of the family and then we'll decide. We'll, 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 okay. we'll, stop, we'll stop here because this is going to get heated. Have a great week. <laughs> What else is inside? What else is in there?